It has been said that no matter where you go, there you will be. In other words, we cannot escape ourselves. Therefore, men, it's imperative that we learn how to wage and win the war within. The mental and emotional battle inside all of us. The one that we fear the most and looks like this. Unresolved anger, self-pity, suicidal thoughts, trauma, resentment, and depression. So what is the war within? It's an introspective or inner battle between the right you know you should do and the wrong that desires to rule you. When I first posted the title of my new book, Battle Cry, Waging and Winning the War Within, someone assumed I was referring to crying. Although my previous book, Cry Like a Man, was about how releasing trauma can help you attain mental and emotional freedom, in Battle Cry, I'm teaching you how to fight to keep it. So for clarity, a battle cry is a shout by soldiers going into battle to express unity and intimidate the enemy. But sadly, many men today are so discontented with life that they no longer have the will to shout a battle cry and fight for what they desire and deserve. Their swords are sheathed and they suppress what makes them depressed. Warrior, if you are one of these men who are hurting and hiding, tired of not being able to say you're tired, weak without the confidence to be strong, strong with nowhere to go when you're weak, I want you to know that there is a life to live beyond the limitations of what you've been deceived to believe, or should I say programmed to believe, it means to be a man. For decades, I was losing the war within myself. I couldn't calmly articulate my feelings regarding an offense, and like many of you, I would yell or even fight in order to hide that I had been hurt. Instead of swatting away the mosquito, I would wait for it to land on a glass table, then kill it with a sledgehammer. Think about that. I was willing to risk it all to be heard and to be right. My toxic thoughts turned into destructive actions that, brothers, I regret even to this day. I almost lost my marriage, my family, and my mind. So my brothers, when we cannot introspectively confront our negative thoughts and emotions, we will always be conquered by them. I don't claim to have all the answers, but I am a living testimony that you can win this battle. Over the next several weeks, I'm going to share with you training excerpts from each chapter of my book, Battle Cry, in order to give you an overview of how this is done. But I forewarn you, Battle Cry is not a seven steps to success book because this war is one you will have to fight daily for the rest of your life. Breaking free is one thing, my brothers, but staying free is another. You will need to be a man of courage and action, proactively taking captive every negative emotion and toxic thought before they enslave you. So if you're ready to fight and win the war that would change your life, Gather yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally as I take you down the narrow path of training that will empower you to break through what you've been through. Shalom until next week, and don't forget to order your copy of Battle Cry.